Trees and forests are important providers of economic value from a multitude of physical products, energy streams, as well as through environmental services on protecting watersheds, soils, biodiversity, and mitigation against the adverse impacts of climate change. Forests avail these benefits on local, regional, and global scales for the benefit of the 7 billion people on Earth. Sustainable production and consumption of forest-based bioproducts will be a potential game-changer in moving towards a greener economy. This is due to their high sustainability performance, which can be measured and validated in terms of renewability, energy efficiency, substitution benefits, and carbon neutrality and storage. The contributions of forests and enterprises to local livelihoods in remote, disadvantaged areas help eradicating poverty and creating positive linkages between rural development and international markets. FAO Forestry Department, International Council of Forests and Paper Associations and Brazilian Pulp and Paper Association join forces to raise forestry and forest industries higher on the Rio Plus 20 agenda. The event, Forests, the Heart of a Green Economy, on the 18th of June, highlighted the important role of sustainable forest-based products and industries in fostering rural development in a greener economy. It also served as a forum for FAO to present the preliminary conclusions of its report on the state of the world's forests. The state of the world forests uh, is edited every two years by FAO and is its flagship publication regarding forests. The aim of this uh, report is uh, bringing substantive information uh, regarding all what we just commented about the contribution of forest, forestry and food pro uh, forest product uh, towards a green economies. So it is deepening what are the contribution of forests for this green infrastructure, what is the contribution for rural uh, livelihoods and overcoming poverty, but very especially what is the contribution of forest products. The importance of the event was highlighted by the presence of Prince of Monaco, Albert II, Ms. Isabella Teixeira, Minister of Environment of Brazil, who welcomed participants and stressed the opportunity offered by the event to debate about how to create a new future to include all sectors of society, including agencies, government and the productive sector. Keynote speaker included Mr. José Luciano Penido, Chairman of Brasalpa and Fibria. As florestas eh, são fundamentais eh, na questão eh, da discussão sobre a sustentabilidade da humanidade sobre a terra. É, 30% da área do mundo é coberto por florestas e um terço da população mundial de 7 bilhões de pessoas são diretamente dependentes é, da floresta e dos serviços ecossistêmicos que a floresta the importance of forest and emerging bioeconomy, forest certification and the contributions of the forest industry to rural development were discussed in four high-level panels during the event. The first panel, chaired by Teresa Presses, CEPI, identified the need for a real paradigm shift in order to deal with the important so-called R's of bioeconomy – reduce, reuse, recycle, replace, redesign and rebuild. And the challenges that need to be overcome, such as fostering a sustainable biomass supply, creating new products in a competitive market, developing new technologies, and fostering non-traditional partnerships. A bioeconomia é a produção e a transformação e a utilização de matérias que são e produtos que são renováveis, recicláveis, produzidos de uma forma sustentável. Desafio a dar um outro exemplo melhor the panel concluded that the forest sector can play a leading role in the emerging bioeconomy through the production and conversion of biomass, new technologies and the development of new bio-based products for the consumers. We have a sector that offers many opportunities to expand economically a society, bringing benefits at the economic level, but also social e de uma forma gerida, de forma sustentável e que vai ter um impacto mínimo no ambiente. However, it will need supportive policies from the governments to enable forest industries to innovate and start the transition towards new uses of sustainably managed forests and forest-based products. The second panel, chaired by Daniela Chiaretti, Valor Econômico Brasil, discussed the present challenges of forest certification as a tool to achieve the goal of sustainable forest management and legality. 
The panel concluded that forced certification was only one of the tools needed as instruments must continue to evolve. The challenges include complicated supply chains which would require investments in more robust tracking technologies. The third panel, chaired by Heike Granholm, Minister of Agriculture and Forestry, Finland, discussed the role of forest industries in rural development, where both formal and informal economies exist. By providing jobs, education, health care and other social services, the forestry industry is a crucial contributor to rural development. A centerpiece was the debate about how to find the right balance between the need for rural economic development and environmental protection. I remember that about four or five years ago, everybody talked about poverty and poverty, and then a little bit later about environment, but now poverty and environment are at the same level. And that's why here in Rio, we talk about green and inclusive development. The event concluded with participants highlighting the need for the forest sector to expand its positive role in developing a greener economy in collaboration with governments and the voluntary private sector and non-governmental actors. Key words for success were dialogue, innovation, collaboration and partnerships. I think it's a message of hope. I think a lot of times um, people talk about um, the industry um, not being there in the future and uh, people talk about some of the, um, the, uh, the, the issues or concerns they have with the paper industry but I really believe that it's a message of hope that uh, we are an industry that is concerned about the environment. Forest, a key. And in that sense, uh, with uh, several activities that uh, FAO alone and many other partners are conducting these days, we want to highlight as, as important forests are moving forward uh, the Rio Plus 20 agenda. Mm -hmm.